Hello, my name is Dr. Cameron Popal and today we are going to study the visual field and the visual field examination on a patient. Before we go ahead with the examination, I would like to briefly describe the findings that come in a visual field examination. So, as you can see on the chart, I've made a left side and a right side. This is how you will see the patient. So this will be the patient's left side and the right side. The outer sides of the eyes are basically the temporal sides. So they are known as the temporal vision. The inner side of the eyes is basically the nasal vision or the nasal side. The first diagram shows a normal visual field. So basically, you, the visual field on the temporal side as well as the nasal side on both eyes is normal. The second diagram shows right homonymous hemianopia. Basically, in this type of visual field effect, the right sides of both eyes are defected. So, the temporal side of the right eye and the nasal side of the left eye will be defected. The dashes in this diagram show the defected side. So the right sides of both eyes are defective in right-sided homonymous hemianopia. The third diagram is the opposite to the above, which is left-sided homonymous hemianopia, in which the left sides of both eyes are defective. So Basically, in terms, in medical terms, the temporal side of the left eye and the nasal side of the right eye will be defective, which will come up as a diagnosis of left-sided homonymous hemianopia. The fourth diagram shows bitemporal hemianopia, which is basically a defect in both temporal sides of both eyes. So the temporal side of the right eye and the temporal side of the left eye will be defective, henceforth known as bitemporal hemianopia. The last type of visual field effect is the tunnel vision in which both the temporal side and the nasal side will be defective. And in that type of visual field effect, you can only see that the patient will only be able to see when the object comes right in front of the eye, hence known as a tunnel vision, like a tunnel type vision, only straight ahead. So these were the different types of presentations that can come in a visual field examination. Now we will go ahead and perform these on a patient. Now I'm going to show you and Dr. Sadaf will present how a patient can come in with all these problems. So we will go one by one and Dr. Sadaf will give me findings and I'll perform the examination. Okay. Hello. Hello. My name is Dr. Cameron. What would you like me to call you? Sadaf would be fine. All right. Sadaf, is it all right if I perform some examinations on your eye? No, that's fine. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is a white pin with a white head. Yeah. All right. What I'm going to do in this examination is going to bring the pin from outwards to inwards. Yeah. Please tell me when you see the white head of the pin. During this examination, I would ask you to not move your head and keep on looking into my eyes rather than at the pin. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Can you please cover your right mm -hmm. eye with your right hand now? All right, thank you. Please tell me when you see the white head of the pin. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Sadaf. Can you please cover your left eye with your left hand now? Thank you. And let me know when you see the white head of the pin. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So this was 
a normal vision with all temporal and nasal fields intact. All right, I would perform the same examination on you again and please present with one of the following uh, visual field effects. All right, can you please cover your right eye with your right hand again, please? Thank you. Right. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Can you please cover your other eye with your other hand? Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much, Dr. Sadaf. As you can see, Dr. Sadaf very beautifully demonstrated the right-sided homonymous hemianopia as her right-sided temporal vision and left-sided nasal vision was defective. Now, Dr. Sadaf will present with left homonymous hemianopia and please see how it goes. Dr. Sadaf, can you please cover your right eye with your right hand? Thank you very much. All right, I'll be bringing this pin from outwards to inwards again. Please tell me when you see the white pin. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Can you please cover your left eye with your left hand now? Thank you. Yes. 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 Okay, thank you very much for your time. As you can see, Dr. Sadaf very beautifully demonstrated a left-sided homonymous hemianopia in which the left sides of both the eyes were defective. Basically, the temporal side of the left eye and the nasal side of the right eye were defective. Thank you very much, Dr. Sadaf. Dr. Sadaf, can you please present to us a bi-temporal hemianopia this time? Okay, can you please cover your right eye with your right hand? Thank you. Please let me know when you see the white pin, or white head of the pin. Yes. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Can you please cover your left eye with your left hand now? All right, please let me know when you see the white head of the... Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Sadaf. So we can see how clearly Dr. Sadaf presented the bitemporal hemianopia in which both her temporal sides were defective, whereas both her nasal sides of both eyes were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. Can you please present us with tunnel vision this time, Dr. Sadaf? Okay. okay. Can you please place your right hand on your right eye? I'll do the same. Can you please tell me when you see the white head of the pin? Yes. 
Okay, thank you very much. Can you please cover your left eye with your left hand now? Thank you. I'll do the same. Let me know when you see the white hand. Yes. 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 Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Sabah. We could see in the video that Dr. Sada very clearly presented a tunnel vision in which both the temporal visions and both the nasal visions were defective and she could only see the white pin when I brought it in front of her eye, right in front of her eye. So that's the tunnel vision. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Sada. I hope you learned and enjoyed from this video.